Hey pros, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So today we're working with my client who actually had one of our alopecia weaving services and she has decided that she wants to do the prosthetic which has a lot, long, a lot longer um, longevity and of course she is dealing with a case of severe alopecia. So with that being said, um, she wanted to be able to just cover everything and not have to worry about the tracks. So we did a full hair replacement service using a prosthetic and then I just went ahead and started to shampoo off the previous alopecia weaving service. She actually had this for over six weeks, you guys, and it lasted a very long time, but she wants to have even more longevity and she wants it to look more like scalp. So that is another reason why we chose to do the prosthetic service versus just doing a traditional alopecia weaving service. Now, as you can tell, her hair only grows in the nape of her neck. We are actually gonna be cutting that hair off today because for us to be able to do the prosthetic, there can be no hair on the head or in the area where the prosthetic is being placed. Of course, as I said, she had her hair um, installed for over six weeks. So I'm using our Soothe and Balance pre-treatment to help to get any itch that she might have going on. Also to soothe, to soothe that scalp, make it nice and calm and relaxing. Remember, she's about to put a prosthetic on. So the prosthetic is going to be on for a long period of time, just the same. And our Soothe and Balance pre-treatment includes that zinc. It has that menthol. It's going to really be nice and healthy for the scalp. It's going to help that scalp to breathe. It's going to just really just bring back the life. And of course, it's going to settle any itching that she might be experiencing or was experiencing while she had the alopecia weaving service done. Now for her second shampoo, I did use our Hair Repair and Revive shampoo. Regardless if she has two strands of hair or an entire head full of hair, I treat my clients no different because guess what? Strands can grow anywhere. The scalp also needs to be healthy just the same. And of course, she does have live follicles in the nape area. And I want to make sure that I treat them with the best possible products. Of course, Elite Hair Care products are going to be it. Now, don't forget, you guys, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And also, don't forget to watch this video to the end and thumbs up the video and comment and tell me what you guys thought about the finished style. Now, I'm in the process of going ahead and shaving off the hair that's in the nape, as I said before, with the prosthetic. I have a full head prosthetic for her. So that is going to cover everything and we cannot put the prosthetic over live follicles, meaning hair that's actually grown out because the adhesive will take that hair out. And of course the prosthetic is going to be lifted in that area. So that is the reason why you see me shaving everything off. Now, one thing I want to point out is wherever there is a live follicle, that will not stop growing. It really will start to grow and lift the prosthetic in that area. So you do want to ensure that every time you get your prosthetic reinstalled, that it is cut down or shaved and that area needs to be nice and clean and dry before the prosthetic can be put back on. Now I wanted to show this part because a lot of people ask how are the prosthetics put on? Well, this is really the longest part of the process, okay? I have to put about six to 10 layers of adhesive to ensure that the client gets good longevity or good wear from their actual unit. And then from there, um, we don't have to worry about her Donald Trumping and the unit flying off her head or it looking like a toupee. No, it is definitely secure. Usually the only area that you have to go back and apply adhesive to is right at the hairline because we perspire, we are human, we are not robots. So that area, usually about a centimeter to an inch up is when you traditionally would just add a little adhesive to that area and put your prosthetic back down. Now I'm putting on the different layers and allowing this to semi get tacky and then I'm applying her prosthetic at this point. Um, a little bit of pressure does need to be applied. And then as I put the prosthetic on, I like to press that area to make sure that the hair is not going to lift or that she doesn't have any bubbling. So it needs to be applied really, really smooth. And you do wanna ensure that when you are applying your prosthetic, that you don't leave any open gaps or spaces. Everything needs to be nice and flush because this is going to mimic actual hair, like an actual hairstyle. Now here, I'm just gonna part her out and start cutting. She actually wanted to be able to do a short style, but she also wanted the wave style. With that being said, if I cut the hair too short at the beginning, then she is going to be stuck with that shortcut and she can't do anything else with the hair. So I decided to leave the hair a little bit longer for the purpose of today's style, so that later on when she decides to go into her straight pixie, she has enough hair for me to cut down and to taper and also customize to whatever style she wants and she gets more longevity out of her prosthetic. 
The prosthetics are traditionally replaced six to eight months or maybe once or twice per year. Um, and these are human hair. They are hand tied. If you guys can tell in the part area, it looks just like scalp. That is the purpose and which is also another reason why this service is an extremely customized service and it is a good investment for those of you that are dealing with any issue like what she's dealing with or if you have extensive um, balding or thinning in any other areas. Now she wanted to add a little bit of color in the front area so I just added two tracks in between the hair. This is not going to damage the prosthetic in any way shape or form. This is just going to be an enhancement that will be removed and it will be washed just like we would our natural hair. And then when she comes in for this to be redone or reattached or even maintenance, I'm basically going to shampoo the prosthetic as I normally would. If I'm removing it, I'll remove it and wash it really, really well. If not, I'll just reattach the areas that might have been coming up, which like I said, is usually the hairline. Now to do her waves, I'm just using my fingers. I would traditionally call this finger waves. You can call it comb waves. You can call it whatever you want. We're just doing waves, you guys. So I'm just gonna use our Elite Silk Wrap Foam. I'm not adding any gel to this because it really was not required for what she wanted done. And I like to work smarter and not harder. So with me just doing the comb waves and using the Elite Silk Wrap Foam, I was able to get a really good wave. And then I sprayed her with spritz as I went along just to keep everything in place. Now she's gonna wear this as she would a traditional finger wave. So she'll put her scarf on at night, which of course you wanna make sure you're using your Elite Hair Care scarf. It's gonna lay that hair down and keep it nice and in place. And then um, from there, when she comes back, we'll be able to cut it a little bit more, do her pixie style, or just kind of graduate into shorter and shorter and shorter styles where she'll be able to have her uh, prosthetic for quite some time. I like to get my prosthetics made a lot fuller than most because I know that my clients want to be able to use them to do different things. And I know that over time, just like human hair, prosthetics shed. These are hand tied units, they're handmade. It takes about three weeks for me to get them and they are customized based on each client. This is considered a nano prosthetic. So it has that silicone band around the hairline and it also has a lot more longevity for those who sweat or perspire a lot more. That is another reason why I have my client make the investment of getting this one versus the traditional full lace because I know that the full lace, it traditionally begins to tear more towards the hairline and because I know she's doing a shortcut, I don't want her to run the risk of it lifting. Now she already went under the dryer. Everything is nice and dry and sleek. I'm just gonna diffuse her and make it nice and hard. And then I finished her off with a little bit of goddess polish. And then from there, all she has to do is put her scarf on at night and go to bed. And then when she comes in, we'll wash it and do this all over again. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to go and visit our website, EliteHairCareUSA.com. And also comment down below what you guys thought about the finished style. Thanks for watching.